Hey everybody, and Happy New Year! That's right guys, it is 2018, uh, and we got a great year planned ahead for everybody. Thank everyone so much for tuning in. This is our first Heat Press Nation Live of the New Year, so Woo! thank you all so much for tuning in. Uh, <laughs> this is your first time joining. Uh, my name is Estevan, this is Jared. I'm one of the customer support representatives here at Heat Press Nation, and uh, Jared's our social media manager. And uh, so if you've called in for some product questions or maybe some assistance with your Silhouette Cameo, chances are you've probably spoken to one of us before. Yeah, one of us before. Uh, and, and in case you didn't notice, we're totally decorated here for New Year's. We just finished up our New Year's party here at Heat Press Nation, and we wanted to bring you guys in on some of the fun, too. Um, one other fun thing that we like to do every week is going to be our weekly giveaway and it's super easy to enter in fact you guys can enter right now uh, every week we give away something cool this week we're giving away two not one but two T square it uh, and those are gonna be the alignment tools for all of your transfers really cool stuff we're giving those away at the end of the broadcast so make sure you stay tuned for that next week we're giving away to something totally different every week we have giveaways and it's super easy to enter all you got to do is like and share this post. You can do it right now. Share with a friend. Share with a hundred friends. You'll be automatically entered into next week's drawing. We'll be announcing that prize in just a moment. As Jared mentioned, entries are closed for this week's giveaway. So if you were able to like and share last week's post, you were automatically entered. We got the names uh, you know already assembled together. So we'll be drawing some winners in just a little bit. But uh, you know, it's the new year. So I know a lot of people on like sometimes try to make the new year's resolutions. Right. Today right. we have a very special broadcast. We're going to be doing new year's press solutions. Yes. And so we love that. Before we get into our press solutions for today, uh, we want to encourage you guys today. We're going to do our very best to answer like as many. Usually we'll save them for like Q&A time at the end. This, uh, this week, as we go along, we're going to be checking in and checking in on the questions and comments. So make sure uh, that you guys are active there in the comments. Let us know what's up. Give us a shout out. Uh, ask any questions you have on any of the heat presses. Um, you know, we hope you guys had a great New Year, of course. So, you know, if you want, like, yeah, we're New Year's from <laughs> wherever it is that you guys are from. We love those. Right on. How was your New Year's, by the way? My New Year's was great. Awesome. Um, Smoke some tri-tip at the house. See, it, by the way, we're here in Southern California, so our, for our New Year's, I know some of you guys are freezing. Uh, man, trying to send as much California warmth as we can. But, uh, yeah, it was like 80 degrees on New Year's. Yeah, it wasn't too bad for us over here. We're spoiled. Um, yeah. Got to have a nice one myself. Uh, it's been a little time with the family, hung out with the lady, and uh, kept it local. Nothing crazy, yeah, but uh, it was good times. Uh, looking forward to a great year, buddy. What about you? Oh, man. 2018 is going to be rocking. We got so many cool things planned here, uh, not only with Heat Press Nation Live, but with uh, the rest of the company. We're looking forward to a great year, and hopefully you guys can be a part of it. We're really excited to have you guys with us here. Yes, that's right. You know, before we dive into the broadcast, I want to let you guys know really quickly about our Facebook group, Heat Press Nation Creators. And it's a really useful source of information. If you're looking for maybe a second opinion, or if you've encountered some trouble with your heat pressing materials, <clears throat> it's moderated by the experts. So you can definitely, uh, you know, get some uh, great assistance there, or uh, you know, just share your experiences with others. You know, you could be the one helping someone else out, also. Yes, I mean, we have people from all sorts of backgrounds, from beginners to novices to like some industry veterans in there. So it's really cool. And speaking of helpful things. Um, you're going to want to check out our YouTube channel, youtube.com slash heatpressnation. We got new to, oh, we got new tube. We got new comment, uh, content coming up every week, so be sure to check that out. If there's a past episode of Facebook Live uh, that you want to uh, check out or reference, we do, post, we do archive them there on YouTube, so be sure to check that out. That's right, that's right. So we got a great one for you guys. Uh, let's go ahead and get this ball rolling here. Uh, we already got some uh, attendees in the audience yeah, getting right. active. As Jared said, please want to encourage you guys to you know, be as involved as you can. If you have any questions about anything we're going over, we'll try and get to as many of these while we're live today. But you know, for anything we don't address, Jared and I will be personally going in the comments yeah. afterwards. So if you're watching this today, a week from today, a month from today, we do get those alerts. So if you have anything you, know, you want to go into further detail about, don't be shy, guys. Let's make this a fun one. 
Cool, cool. Looks like we got some. Actually, looks like we got some shout outs already. Yes, that's right. Uh, Renee Bolton uh, shouting out to Roxanne DeSantis. Thank you all, you guys, so much for tuning in. Uh, Paula Warner says it's snowing northwest Northwest Pennsylvania, but says that's nothing new. Lucky, <laughs> lucky. I I've been dreaming of a white Christmas since I was a kid. Yeah. But here in California, I think one Christmas it hailed. We had a little bit of hail. Now that's the best it gets down here, unfortunately. Oh, wow. <laughs> so, believe it or not, we're actually jealous of your snow. Uh, Renee Bolton says hi from Florida. Hello. Are you wait wait right now? Florida's like cut in half. There's like the cold half, and then there's the warm half. Yeah. Really curious, which which half? <laughs> Let's see, see if they, they share that with us here. Uh, Layla Platt, hello from Tucson, Arizona. Greetings, greetings. Thank you so much for joining us today. Uh, Amy Lyle, uh, I need a new heat press, maybe a sublimation kit. Are there any discounts to buy multiple items? And I've read I should get another swing that's best for sublimation. Is that true? Well, we have some business packages, right? Yeah, we do have some business packages that are priced really well. If you want to package several things together, uh, if not, you can give a call uh, to us at 800-215-0894. You can speak with either Esteban or another member of our great sales team, uh, and they can help put together a package that's right for you. Um, and as far as like a swing, we're going to get into that a little bit later, so stay tuned. We're going to be talking about swingaways and other press solutions uh, for the new year. No, that's right, that's right. So let's get started. As we said, guys, this is going to be our New Year's press solutions. We're going to be going over, you know, some maybe common problems, issues, or uh, hurdles, and we're showing you how you can get through those, over those, and beyond those. So <laughs> Let's do it. Let's do it. So the first thing we're going to talk about today is probably the most common. It's actually a safety issue. It's burning yourself uh, while loading in your transfers. And it's funny, I actually, we actually made this heat press station live. Can you see them? Oh, wrong way. There we go. Heat press nation live, yeah. Anyway, so we're, when we were making these shirts, I made these on a different heat press. I didn't use our signature series here. Uh, I'm not going to name the brand, but it was a very nice heat press. But it didn't have the slide out drawer. And so if you're asking what is the benefit of a slide out drawer, well, I'm going to come around here and I'm going to show you. That's right. As you see here on the table here, guys, we actually have our 16x20 uh, HPN Signature Series. And what I really love about the Signature Series is, well, you know, Jared, you're over there. I'll let you show them. What's, what's our favorite part about this machine? So our, my favorite part about the Signature Series is going to be that it has a slide out. Now, it's covered in decorations. Please do not heat press your New Year's decorations. <laughs> But uh, yeah, so with the heat press, so with this other press, when I was making these shirts, I'm like, and you guys have done it, you've reached in, you have your shirt, you're putting your shirt in there, your hands get very close to the heating element right here. Now this is off, of course. Uh, and then when you're, when you're placing your transfers on there, sometimes if you have something at the back and you want to scoot it back, right here is going to be where I've had most of my uh, unfortunate incidences with my heat press. Um, but with the signature series, you have the slide out drawer. This makes a world of difference because now I can just put my shirt on. I don't, I mean, you want to be careful, of course, but you don't really have to worry too much about this because you have so much clearance because the bottom drawer slides out. So if you're burning yourself, if you, or if you're just risking it, if you're getting really hot, your face, you don't want it too close to the heating element, if that's an issue for you, then this year, uh, we, your New Year's press solution should be to pick up a signature series heat press with the slide out lower plate. Oh, that's awesome. I mean, this guy's available in a few different sizes. It's probably our most robust machine, I would say, from our house brand of presses. Yeah, definitely. And it comes with a very strong warranty. You're going to have uh, full coverage, uh, parts and labor on this machine, as well as lifetime technical assistance. Yes, and that lifetime technical assistance, it's not just like, hey, you know, what if the heat press never breaks, but you have a question on, hey, this transfer is not sticking. Give us a call. Um, like, hey, I can't get this to stick. Uh, you know, it's... My, my vinyl's peeling after I wash it off. What do I do? Give us a call. Like, you can definitely, I, we encourage your questions. We have lots of professionals here. Even people who do this, who use this not only here at work, but at, in, on the, for their own businesses, their own you know, side businesses. You know, we have professionals here, so definitely want to uh, encourage you guys to give us a call if you have any questions. Or you can hop on our weekly live. You can ask your questions here uh, live, like I see some of you guys are doing right now. Uh, you know, feel free to chime in. Feel free to hit us up in the Facebook Messenger. 
Um, where else? Uh, support at HeatPressNation.com? Yes, and uh, you know, if you don't have the time to get on the phone with a representative, they can actually create uh, help tickets on the website. Right, yeah. So you can file an uh, inquiry or a question. A technical representative can get back to you during normal business hours, but that help ticket system, I think it's at the bottom of the page, right? Yeah. So uh, that's available 24 hours around the clock. If you're working late night, weekend hours, you know, you don't want to forget that inquiry or question you had, send it on over and you know, we'll be able to get back to you as soon as business resumes during normal hours. Definitely. Yeah, so, so now we, so we've talked about this press solution here for like safety, burning your knuckles. There's another burn that's not on your skin sometimes, and I don't know if you guys have had this problem. Um, but sometimes when you're heat pressing something, you turn your back on the heat press, uh, you know, and you know, for vinyl, you only need to press for like 10, 12 seconds. So you turn your back on the heat press, you answer the phone, you chase the puppy, you save the baby from falling down the stairs. You come back 30 seconds later and what happens? Your transfer is cooked, it's overpressed, it's overheated because you know, the ability to multitask, you know, I mean, we try to stre stretch ourselves so thin, I think today's day and age, you know, watching this, checking that, updating this, and yeah. working, you know, so um, we do have a solution for something like that, Jerry. What would you recommend if, uh, you know, say you want to, have to be doing your attention on multiple things at once? So if that's the case, if you want to be able to, you know, and you never want to leave a heat press totally unattended, totally unattended, but the truth is, sometimes life happens, sometimes things spill, uh, you know, you have to answer the phone, you turn your back for five seconds, and you're, you know, you want to get back to it. Our press solution for you is going to be purchasing a heat press with the auto open function. Now, there are several brands, several lines of heat presses. We have heat presses uh, in many different levels of affordability, uh, many different price ranges that they all do feature the auto open function. So you're saying, what is auto open? Well, when you lower your heat press, like in a heat press like this one, you know, it's going to just lock in place and it's going to stay there uh, until you open it back up. Now with an auto open heat press, what it has is an electromagnet right here. Well, they're in different places on different presses, but for the most part, right under the handle there's an electromagnet. And that's actually going to lock it in place. So instead of just the pressure locking it down, with the auto open uh, heat press, the magnet is going to hold it in place. Once your timer counts down to zero, the magnet releases, and instead of you having to lift the press open manually, like how we're doing, uh, there we go, like how we're doing here, uh, it'll just, re the magnet will release, and then the press will open on its own. And this is really good because, you know, as we mentioned before, if you turn your back on your transfer, for whatever reason, you can trust the heat press to open on its own, your transfer is safe down here, and you don't have to worry about overcooking, burning, melting, uh, or anything like that. So it's, it's another safety feature in the sense that, if something were to happen, at least you know your press isn't closing and you know set your shirt on fire. No, that's right. I mean that auto open feature, it's available on the signature series in a variety of sizes. Our black series also, great machine, small business level production intended use, also is available as an option on some of those sizes. So uh, you know, debt like Jared says, safety feature as well as a convenience. Yeah. So for those of you guys who are multitasking, if that's an issue for you guys when you're heat pressing, our press solution is gonna be an auto open heat press. That's right, that's right. Uh, you know, and a question I get in customer support, in sales, you know, maybe they have, you know, already their clamshell style heat press. They're making their shirts, uh, you know, everything's rocking and rolling, but they want to expand. So a question I get is, can I get an attachment to change my, my flat press into a cap press? Now, right. what, what would be our press solution for something like that kind of inquiry? So, unfortunately, we're not able, there's, these, aren't in, these platens aren't interchangeable uh, on the larger heat presses. There's a multifunction heat press, which we can cover a little bit later um, if you want. But the press solution for you, if you wanted to expand into doing caps, is buying a cap press. So, right here, we have our signature series, and actually, this is a cap and label press. We'll talk about what, labels, uh, what solution the label is good for right now. Um, but this is a cap press, so it's really easy. You load your cap here on the front. Boop! Making caps. So uh, it's really simple. Unfortunately, the cap presses are, this one in particular is not auto open. Uh, I believe Stahl's Hartronics does have an auto open cap press, if that's something that you're interested in. Um, but this one's really affordable, and I really like it. Um, it's a one size fits most. So if you're doing infant caps, like really tiny baby caps, it may not fit on here. Um, if you guys are local to our Southern California office, you're welcome to come in, check this bad boy out in person, bring a cap. Um, I know some people have even mailed us cap samples to see if they're going to fit on there. You guys are welcome to do it too. Just make arrangements, give us a call, talk to Esteban or a member of his team. 
uh, we can do that for you. No, absolutely. I mean, if you want to talk about doing heat transfer vinyl, you want to talk about, I believe this is a sublimation on the panel yeah, of that cap there. Yeah, we did sublimation there. on this cap, I mean, yeah. this thing can achieve temperatures of 400 degrees Fahrenheit, so it's ample, uh, you know, heat for either of those applications. Uh, would you, you could even do heat transfer paper onto a cap with the right material, right? We, we've done just, <clears throat> but just about anything you can do on a t-shirt, you could do it onto a cap. So that's really, it makes it versatile. So, um, well, for this cap, let's pull it off here really quick. And it's kind of hard to access from behind. I don't recommend using this machine from behind, but we're going to do it today. So here we have this cap, and uh, this is sublimation. So you can see we have a full color image here on the cap. Very cool uh, on this trucker cap. My head's actually too big, so it's not going to fit on here. Um, but yeah, that's something that you can totally do on here. So if you're saying, hey, I want to expand, I want to do caps, I want to offer more to my customers, our press solution for you is going to be... Get a cap um, press. Get a cap press. That's right, that's right. Now, uh, as Jared mentioned, this is not just any normal old cap press. This is actually what we right. call our uh, cap and label. So, um, now, what if someone had, you know, they're making their own shirts, they're banging out their own designs, but they wanted to have the, a little personal touch, maybe with the size information or the care instructions. What would be a press solution if someone wanted to add that extra touch to their, their clothing? Yeah, a press solution for that would be private labeling your own shirt. So, a lot of t-shirts come with, and I think this one, I'm like totally, totally random. I'm trying to do this like live. Oh yeah, a lot of T-shirts that you purchase from wholesalers are going to come with an, and I didn't even plan this. <laughs> they come with an easy tear away tab. That way, you can heat press on the back of the neck. You can heat press your own uh, label on there, which makes it like to me like if I'm buying a T-shirt, and there's nothing wrong with selling Gildan all style. You know, you have your brand shirts, but when you when you get a shirt and it has a custom, you know, X Y Z clothing company on yeah. there, it's like whoa, that's pretty cool. No, you know, absolutely. and there's so many different solutions for making labels. Uh, we've talked about it on video. We've done FlexSoft. You can even use heat transfer paper to make your custom labels. Uh, and so what we would do is right here. Actually, can, you can grab yeah, that. Yeah, absolutely. Kind of show it off there. So, so the curved heating elements and the lower platen here, they're actually inter interchangeable for these uh, smaller format. I believe it's like a six by eight, I want to yeah. say. And uh, these attach into the lower and upper platen components there. And now we have a nice small format pressing area for specialty areas like the size labeling, like the care instructions, like the size info. Yeah, so I'm just going to pull this off here really quick. Just to show you how easy it is to swap it out. Boom. So there's the bottom. So you have the interchangeable lower platen, which we're going to put on right here. And then for the top, this comes off really easy too. And I want to make sure I'm turning it the right way. Lefty, yes. So all you would do is pull it off. And people always, we, we get questions often like, hey, how do I swap out um, the platens? And this is covered in New Year's decorations. How do I swap out the platens on here? It's super easy. You just, and, uh, and I'm doing, again, I don't recommend doing it from behind, but if you must, there we go. And so, and then you have it, and now we have our, ah, well, again, don't recommend doing it from behind, but you probably could. Let's just, and this is the beauty of live. Anyways, we'll do that later. <laughs> but, uh, but yeah, so, so all you do is you lower it down, you tighten it up, and then you have a label press. And again, this is really cool for, you can even do really small objects. Some people make custom wallets. Uh, some people do custom masks. Um, if you need to apply a patch to something, you know, you don't want to load it onto your big old heat press. Um, the smaller ones do heat up a lot faster. Uh, and it's really cool. So if you want to do like custom labeling uh, on your t-shirts, our press solution is going to be get a label press. And in this case, you can kill two birds with one stone. With the signature series cap and label press, you saw how easy it is to interchange. Um, the platens on there, which makes it very fast, and to me, I, I absolutely love this machine right here. No, oh, absolutely. As we've already mentioned, the Signature Series is going to be our most robust design uh, trim level of heat presses, so it's an absolute tank, very sturdy, very workable machine, Could definitely give you a very long life of uh, faithful service. Yeah. So it looks like we got some comments coming in. Uh, thank you guys so much for joining us in the comments. If you guys are barely joining in, I uh, just want to remind you to go ahead and like and share this post because we are doing a giveaway. Well, entries for this week's giveaway are already closed off, but if you want to be entered into next week's giveaway, like and share this post, guys. Uh, we'll, we do giveaways every week. So every single week we got something cool to give away. Uh, this week we're giving away two T-squareds. And next week we're actually, let's just announce it now. Next week we're giving away 
two sets of T padded's. Uh, and if you don't know what the T padded is, it's a really cool pressing pad for your, uh, you can use it for your hoodies, for your t-shirts, anytime you're pressing near. And we've talked about this in previous broadcasts, yes. but anytime you're pressing near buttons, collars, seams, zippers, or anything like that, anything that would give an uneven pressing surface, T padded's are going to be the way to go. So we're giving away two sets of those, one to each winner. We've got two winners next week. Make sure you're tuning in. Make sure you like and share this post. Uh, but yeah, it looks like we got some really cool uh, comments coming yeah, out. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, Sergio Rangel, thank you so much for tuning in. He's actually on his way to come down and make a purchase, he says. Oh, very cool, very cool. Well, we'll see you here in a little bit then. Absolutely. Uh, we got a hello from uh, Highland Heights in Ohio from Roxanne. Thanks for watching. Greetings, greetings. Thanks for watching. Uh, Stephen Rathbone said it's a family affair. He and his daughter Marion are both learning and enjoying the weekly shows. Oh, very cool. Thank you guys so much for watching. That's really, really awesome. really appreciate it. You guys make these great for us. Uh, let's see here. Uh, Sergio continues on, says he has the auto open press, lets him do other work while it's cooking. Very nice. Exactly. And that, <clears throat> that's a really good point to make is that you can even be prepping your next design, lining up the transfer on there while one's cooking without fear of like, oh wait, am I going to ruin one to work on the other? That's a really good point. Thank you so much for sharing that. Right on, right on. Uh, let's see here, what else we got coming in? Paula Warner. Paula Warner uses her cap and label press to sublimate aluminum business cards and it works great. Whoa, that's super cool, sublimating aluminum business cards. Yeah, that's awesome, Paula. That's a very cool solution. If you have a chance, we'd love to see what you're using, uh, your, a little more on your process, so please share something like that in our Heat Press, uh, create, Heat Press Nation Creators group on Facebook or tag us in one of your posts. Uh, HPN Creators, use it on all your social media. All um, social media. Really cool stuff to see, so you know, Drop it on your Facebook, your Twitter, your Pinterest, all that good stuff. Or search the hashtag if you're looking maybe for some inspiration yep. or some new ideas. Great stuff to check out. That hashtag, once again, is HPN Creators. Yes. That's right. That's right here. Um, moving on. Uh, Chuck says he bought a heat press last year. Still going strong. Loves the company. Nice. We love you thank back, you, Chuck. Sir. Thank, thank you. you thank, thank you. And let's see here. Yeah, it's good for right now. Let's uh, save some of these for a little bit. Uh, okay, cool, what's, cool. Uh, what's our next press solution going to be? Well, I mean, <coughs> one, we, one thing that's very, very popular, especially here at this location for some reason, a lot of people come by because they want to actually see the product in person, and then we get, them, of course, a lot of questions online. It's, uh, hey, I want to make mugs. <laughs> <laughs> I want to make mugs. I want to do coffee cups. I want to do this. I want to do that. Uh, and so... Uh, our press solution, so maybe you're doing t-shirts, maybe you're even doing caps already. You want to expand your business. You want to be able to offer your customers something more, especially with Valentine's, Mother's Day. It's still a little ways away, but it's not it's too coming. far. It's, it's coming. It's coming. You know, you want to make these custom things for your customers. Um, sports season, spring, baseball season is coming up. Parents love stuff with pictures of their kids on it, especially if they're in sports. Um, so, you know, put, put a kid in his baseball uniform on a coffee mug. You're a millionaire almost. But anyways, uh, you know, so we always get the question, hey, I want to do mugs. What do I got to do? Well, the first step is going to be to get a sublimation printer. So it's not necessarily a heat press, um, but a sublimation printer, uh, if you want to get started off, as Sawgrass SG400, those actually just went down in price. That's right. So, uh, so that's really awesome. Uh, and then um, what you're going to need if you want to do mugs is going to be a sublimation mug press. It's covered in... New Year's decorations, but this is our Sublimation Mug Press. This is our signature series. It has up to six different uh, attachments available for it. So that means that you're doing, um, you know, tapered mugs, like kind of like the Sublimation, looks kind of like the Starbucks mugs, mm -hmm. um, shot glasses, um, 11 and 15 ounce mugs, uh, water bottles, so many things you can do. A real popular one lately, and I don't know if you want to pull it yeah, out. Yeah, let's take a look over here. So as Jared mentioned, this is our signature series automated uh, sublimation mug press. Um, now the element inside is designed to accommodate 11 and 15 ounce uh, mugs. In addition, it's also able to accommodate sublimation beer steins, something yeah. like this. Really cool, awesome drinkware product that you can really personalize with uh, you know, your own design and artwork. Yeah, people have been seeing these a lot in the groups lately. And I'll kind of hold it up here. So this is a frosted stein, uh, sublimation beer stein. I believe it's 17 ounces. I want to say 20. I don't think it's 20, though. Uh, I'll have to double check. But yeah, so these come in like a case of 24, and they're super cool. Father's Day, these things were flying off the shelves because everybody wanted to make something cool for their pop. You know, and this fits right here into the uh, sublimation mug press. Um, so if that's something that you want to expand into, or maybe you want to offer 
you know, custom steins to your local uh, craft brewery, something like that. B- brewery, that's a funny word. Brewery. Bre- brewery. Anyways, <laughs> well, <laughs> you know, that's something you want to offer to your local craft beer making place. <laughs> you know, you can totally do that. Uh, local restaurants, basically whatever you guys want to do, you know, make your money. That's, that's really what this, you know, if for a business, you're not in it for, in, unless you are in it for charity. But more power to you. Right but on, you know, right. make your money. You, and, and so our solution, our press solution for you would be get a sublimation mug press. The possibilities are, are really endless. There's so many different mugware, drinkware that you guys can make uh, with your sublimation equipment. Uh, and it's really awesome, especially as we're entering the, because you got Valentine's. Right after that, you got baseball season for yeah. Little Leaguers. And right after that, Mother's Day, Father's Day. Uh, take a little break, and then it's already holidays again. Yeah. And so you're just, a year round, it's a money maker. So definitely want to recommend the Sublimation uh, mug system for you guys. And we do have packages available. That's right. That's right. Yeah, I would say probably the drinkware is probably our most popular Sublimation items between yeah. the cups, the steins. Really cool selection, awesome stuff. Um, for more ideas on what you are able to do this kind of process on, there's a section on the website, blue navigation bar, top of the page. Towards the far right is Sublimation Blanks. So you can get some awesome ideas there, some really cool things you're able to do. But uh, yeah, if you're looking to expand mugs, we would recommend the Signature Series Automated Press. And this one has additional heating elements, right? Yeah, so there's up to six different heating elements, um, which allow you to do more than six different types. For example, I mean, the 10 ounce, it doubles as an as a element for the smaller 10 ounce mugs, but it also fits the larger 20 ounce water bottles just due to the size. So it's really cool. And then, of course, the other one, the, the, the 11, 15, we call it because it fits, it fits 11 ounce and 15 ounce mugs in the same element. All you got to do is just adjust the pressure, which is another really cool part about this. There's four different points of pressure adjustment on our mug press which means that whatever you guys can fit in there, you know, there are ways to adjust it to make sure that your presses come out just right. Awesome, awesome. Same warranty across the boards on all these also, guys. One year parts and labor, lifetime technical assistance. Definitely try to add a lot of value to every purchase here. Uh, you know, we got some more questions coming in. Okay, sweet. For sure, for sure. Uh, let's see. Um, Stacy Ann's asking if we have sublimation printers. We do, yes, we do carry sublimation printers. Uh, we really recommend the Sawgrass. Uh, the SG400, which is going to fit, it's going to be like your entry level size, so it'll print out 8.5 by, by 11 and also 8.5 by 14 uh, sublimation prints, which are going to cover all your mugs, um, all your hats, all your, you know, your smaller transfers. If you're looking for something a little bit bigger, um, you know, maybe you want to do 11 by 17 or even 13 by 19, uh, then we would recommend going up from the Sawgrass SG400 up to the SG800. So it's a little bit bigger, um, but definitely worth the investment if you want to do like sublimation socks. Yes. Um, if you wanted to do big prints on sublimation shirts for big guys like me, you know, you're doing, you know, ex- double extra large, triple extra large, uh, you know, you can do that. Uh, so that's really cool. Um, we also do sell an Epson uh, Artisan 1430 conversion kit. Um, not going to downplay that at all. It is the more, it is a little bit more affordable if you want to go the 11 by 17, you know, large format route. Um, but the maintenance on there, you're going to want to just pay a lot of closer attention to it. We would kind of only recommend that for somebody who's already, you know, experienced in the sublimation field, just due to the maintenance required uh, and printing. I mean, the sawgrass stuff is just super easy to use. So if you're just getting started, probably going to recommend the SG400. That's right. And the, the SG800, as Jared mentioned, would be the bigger brother from that. I believe it does 11 by 17 out of the box, and there's an optional bypass tray they can get as an accessory. Right. Expand that print size up to 13 by 19. Yes. So if you're looking for that lar- larger format, we do have the sublimation paper in all of those dimensioned sizes. So whatever your needs are, we got a, a, pr- a printer for you. Yeah, definitely. Right on, right on. Now, all right, uh, so let's, uh, let's say I'm looking for maybe something not as big as a 16 by 20. Let's say maybe I got a crafter or someone who has an interest in beginning crafting. Okay. They don't have a lot of workspace. They just want to get started and you know, kind of learn the ropes. What would you recommend if as a press solution for someone maybe in a smaller format uh, style? Yeah, well, we do have a really good uh, selection of small format heat presses. So you look up here, you see this big old 16 by 20 hunker. Uh, you know, it, we do have a smaller format uh, press available. Unfortunately, we don't have it on the table right now, um, but there are, there's a selection of 9 by 12 heat presses. So if you're doing crafting, if you just need to heat press really small things, uh, I would definitely recommend uh, looking into a 9 by 12 heat press. Um, 9 by 12 heat presses are really good because even if you do have, you know, you can't, even if you do have, like, maybe you say I have a full 8.5 by 11 transfer you want to put on a shirt, it'll fit on there. You can definitely load it up on there. So they're pretty capable machines. 
Really cool, they're very lightweight and very portable, which I know is important for some crafters, especially if you're going to like trade shows, craft shows, it is important. So if that's what you're needing, if that's the issue that you have there, then our press solution is going to be either the Black Series or Empress 9x12 heat presses. That's right, great recommendations. Same maximum temperature on those presses, 400 degrees, you're not going to lose any performance, any quality, and same uh, you know, warranty, one year parts and labor, lifetime technical assistance for all of our Heat Press Nation family and friends. Yeah, when, and it's important, and ours, they all come with digital timers and temperature controls. You want to kind of steer away from the heat presses that might have an analog, believe it or not, they might have an analog heat control and a separate timer. Some of them don't come with timers, now they are, they are affordable, um, but you know, you really want to have all that, all that, uh, all those features on board your heat press. So I would definitely recommend the Empress or Black Series. Okay, all right, sounds good, sounds good. Now, I got a question now. Let's say maybe I'm on a little bit more of a budget. Let's say, okay. you know, I'm looking to get something, maybe not so small format, but maybe something a little more entry level, some of my personal or home use. Uh, you trying know, not to break the bank. Exactly, okay. exactly. Yeah, well, uh, if you're trying not to break, break the bank, and I, I know you kind of already know the answer to this one. We're, we're asking for sake of the audience here. Um, if you're trying not to break the bank, we do have an entry level brand of heat press that to me is not so entry level at all when, it, when, you, when you look at the features. The price is, the price is very affordable, um, but when you look at the features, the performance, it's really great. Um, that's going to be our M-Press line of heat presses. Those things are built with super great quality, um, so much so that like, I have a hard time believing how little we sell them for. You know, they're really <laughs> great heat presses. Um, the only thing that you're going to be missing from there is uh, they don't have the auto open and they're not going to have the slide out drawer. Um, so those features are going to be available uh, on, the high, on the slightly higher end heat presses. But if you're on a budget and you say, hey, I need a little workhorse machine. I need something that's going to work day in, day out, going to have my presses looking professional quality. The M press is going to be perfect for you. So I highly recommend checking that out. Oh, that's right. I mean, it may not have all the bells and whistles, but I mean, if you talk about just something that will perform, that will get that temperature, will get that pressure, you know, M press would be the way to go if you are looking to, you know, kind of make every dollar go as far as you possibly can. Yeah, and what we have seen a lot of customers do is they'll start their business with the Empress, mm -hmm. and then once the funds start coming in, you know, you're basically you're printing money with your shirts, you know, then they up, they eventually sell off the Empress, and they, or they'll keep it as a backup, which is very important, um, and then they'll just upgrade to a signature series or something similar. All right, Ian. If you guys have questions about any of these different machines, any of the different sizes, any of the different processes, we invite you to give us a call. It's 1-800-215-0894. Or you can visit us at heatpressnation.com. I think that's right here. There Some, we go. Somewhere, somewhere, somewhere down somewhere there. there. You guys got the information. You know how to reach us. Don't be shy. If you do have any questions, you have friendly, knowledgeable representatives standing by to assist you however we can. Exactly. Uh, and, you know, and again, we, we thank you guys so much for joining us here. Um, if you have any questions at all, it's Q&A time right now. So we've been going through the comments throughout the broadcast, just kind of you know, checking in. But if you have any questions about any of the heat presses, uh, or maybe you have, you have an issue and you need a press solution uh, for yourself, go ahead and chime in in the comments now. Uh, we're going to take the next few moments uh, to go through our Q&A for the week. Uh, and we want to make sure that we answer as many questions as, as you guys might have. Uh, so let's go ahead and let, let's see what you guys got. Right on, right on. All right. so. Let's see here. Uh, what hat press do you recommend? Uh, I, I really like the Signature Series hat press. Um, beca just because, well, I, I, as I mentioned before, it's the cap and label press. I like having both options because I do like to private label shirts. If I have a customer who wants something a little bit more high end or, you know, or maybe they're making a prototype and they want to like, you know, show off a sample before they do a large run, totally great for that. And you'd be surprised how many uses you'll get for the, uh, for the flat uh, label press um, grilled cheese sandwiches. <laughs> <laughs> you know, if you've seen older episodes, you know that we like to sometimes we'll put food in the heat press just for the fun of it. We don't recommend it, but hey, you guys do whatever you want. Um. <laughs> right. I mean, something that size, you could even do like a pocket logo or a chess yeah. piece, something with that uh, pressing area, right? Yeah, definitely. That's, it's really great for that. Um, or if you have like, um, what do they call them, heat applied. Like like appliques, I think they call them. Mm -hmm. um, something you know, like you want to put a patch on a jacket, on a sleeve, or a shirt. You could fit that right there. And in fact, what a lot of customers do, they they'll use the they'll use the cap part, the cap press, to uh, do sleeve applications because it's kind of hard to fit that on your main heat press. So we have we do have people putting sleeve applications on with the cap press. Um, that's why I really like I really like the signature series cap press. 
Um, you know, there is another one. If you're looking for interchangeable lower platens, we would recommend either the Red Series cap press, um, or if you want to, you know, real high end, you know, Stalls does make a cap press with interchangeable lower platens, which allow you to get a wide range of sizes. Um, uh, otherwise, you know, you're welcome to, if you want to purchase this cap press, it's one size fits most caps. Um, you're welcome to mail us a, a, a sample. Like I said, you can yeah, email, email need a me. test fit. Yeah, yeah, well, well, we can do, you know, a test. If you have a transfer already, you can mail it to us. You know, because not everybody's able to come in and actually test yes, the press in person. That's right. So. Okay, right on, right on. Appreciate the recommendation. Uh, now, Sarah Meehan's asking, do I need a pressing pillow for a plain pocketless tee? I would say no. Right, I mean, yeah. unless you're pressing like super close to the stitching area, but if there's no pocket, I think you should have no problem getting even contact, even pressure uh, if you're doing the, the front part, of no pocket. Yeah, the only, thing I, the only way I would say you would is if you're pressing a smaller shirt on a bigger press. Uh, for example, basically we don't like having any, any seams on the pressing area. So if you're pressing just the chest, you want just the chest on the heat press. If, this, if the shoulder seam or the collar is coming out on the press, you want to eliminate those. You don't want those getting pressed too. So in that case, yeah, I would put a pillow down. So that way you're, you're just getting a nice even pressure on the center. Um, but if you have a bigger shirt, it shouldn't really be an issue because the edges, those will all just hang off. Those will all hang off the edge. Okay, so in recap, as long as the seams aren't really on that lower platen, we should be okay pressing, getting even contact fine. without the pillow. Yeah. Awesome, awesome. Good to know, good to know. Um, all right, so Art Nieves checking in. Yo. Thank you so much for tuning in, What's buddy. Up, Always good, good to see you. See you. Uh, you've been doing some awesome work lately, Art. Yeah. I've been seeing a lot of your stuff in the Heat Press Nation Creators Group. I've been seeing a lot of awesome activity this holiday yeah. season. A, a lot of people have been uh, commenting, you know, posting what they're doing, and I think that's super cool. Yeah. You know, so, mu so much great creativity, and I'm like, man, that was a good idea. I wish I would have had that idea. Like, you know, so much cool stuff. Uh, and even then, um, if you guys want to share your work, you want people to see it, you want to just kind of give an inspiration to the people, use the hashtag HPN Creators. You know, you, you're welcome to post in the group, uh, Heat Press Nation Creators on Facebook. But yeah, the hashtag HPN Creators, that's a really good place for it too. Absolutely. Right on, right on. Uh, let's see here. Marion Rathbone, actually, she was expressing an interest in a smaller format, and uh, she seems pretty excited we offer 9x12. Oh, very cool, very cool. Yeah, 9x12. I, I see those are really popular with the crafters. We're at the Silhouette, uh, Silhouette Conference uh, back in November, and yes. people will be walking by the table. They see the big presses, and they see the small ones. It's like, oh, and I'm like, yeah, yep. I, I got like space just nice. for that back at home. <laughs> right on, right on. All right, let's see here. Moving along, moving along. Uh, oh, the our gal who was asking about the cap press appreciates the recommendation. Oh, you're, welcome. you're welcome, Odd. Let's see here. All right. Well, you know, I think that's going to be about it. I see here as far as questions. Um, if there is anything else you guys would like us to go into, please feel free to add those comments in. We get the alerts. We'll be addressing those. But uh, you know, it's it looks like a party up here. Let's let's have some fun, man. You ready? You ready to give something away? Oh, I was born ready to give okay. something away. Okay. Awesome. I'm gonna go get the names. <laughs> nice. So while he's getting the names, we just want to remind you guys that every week we do have a giveaway. Um, you know, so if you want to, if you want to enter, uh, voting for this or entries for this week, of course, are already closed off. If you want to enter into next week's giveaway, again, next week we're giving away two. We're gonna have two winners. Each winner receiving a set of T padded. So those are gonna be the pressing pads, which we will be talking about in detail next week. Um, and yeah, so to enter, all you gotta do is like and share this post. So go ahead and do it now. You can do it after the broadcast. Um, like and share this post for your chance to enter next week. Uh, Esteban's going to be coming back up right now with the names of all the entries that we had. And so these names, these are everybody who liked and shared last week's Facebook Live uh, post. So if you want to be entered, if you guys did that, uh, your name is in this hat. And maybe you're a winner. We'll find out right now. All right. I have my picking hands ready. Yes, please. JRV bless us with the first pick of the new year. Let's see who's going to be our first prize winner of 2018. First prize winner is Barbara Lee. Barbara Lee, you are a winner. Please do us a favor and either message us here on Facebook uh, or send an email to support at heatpressnation.com. Want to get your uh, mailing information so that way we can get your prize, your T-squared, out to you right away. So Barbara Lee, again, you're our winner. Thank you so much for liking and sharing last week's post. And now, here, I'll hold it. Okay. Now, <laughs> Stevon's turn. He's going to pick the winner. And the winner is... Got Susie Aldridge. 
Congratulations, Susie. Yeah. You're a winner. Uh, as Jared mentioned, we invite both of you guys to please get in touch with us. Reach out via Facebook. Send us an email, support at heatpressnation.com. Help us get that shipping information. Uh, you guys are the proud owners of two brand new t squareds so yeah. uh, we'll be getting those sent out to you guys right away. Um, but uh, there's still time, if you weren't a winner, to enter into next week's giveaway. Yes. So uh, it's very simple. How do they enter, Jared? All you got to do is like and share. You guys have all week to enter. Uh, we usually will we'll end the, we'll, we'll, we'll cut off the entries um, about an hour before the broadcast. So you guys actually have a, uh, you know, even if you're a last minute procrastinator, uh, make sure you guys get your entries in. Like and share, it's all you got to do. Uh, you don't need to comment or email or do anything extra. Really simple, like and share the post. And you guys will be entered to win next week's prize, which is going to be, we have two winners, each winner receiving a set of tea padded. Uh, really cool uh, you know, supply item there for you guys. I consider it an essential. So I always have it on standby. I don't always need it, but when I do, very glad to have it there. That's right. Uh, so I want to remind you guys one more time really quick about our YouTube channel. YouTube.com slash Heat Press Nation content added weekly. Great stuff to check out. All of our past broadcasts are yes, there. Everything. So definitely uh, worth adding to the collection on your, on your viewing. Yes. Uh, and again, we do have our Facebook group, Heat Press Nation Creators. Guys, uh, if you want a really great support group, maybe you're new to this, uh, or maybe you're experienced and you want to kind of share that experience with the next generation of Heat Pressers, uh, Heat Press Nation Creators on Facebook. Uh, it's moderated by the professionals like myself, like Estevan. Um, but there's so much great peer support there, everybody from beginners to industry veterans and everybody in between, helping each other out. It's a really positive place, really great uh, online community. That's it. Well, I think that's going to do it for us today on this week's edition of Heat Press Nation Live. Thank you all so much for tuning in. Thank you guys so much for helping us kick off the year to a great start. We wish all of you a successful, happy, blessed, healthy 2018. And we'll see you next week. See you guys next week.